LDBC. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. And let me tell you do something. I'm going to tell you do something right now, okay? You know, I made a video um, about Donald Trump. And this is going to be the last video that I make about him unless he does something else stupid. But, um, you know, I made a video about Trump. And I, and I genuinely talked about, you know, what the problems were with Donald Trump. And actually, you know what, man? I was looking in the comment section just to see how many people would actually support this dude. See, many people stayed quiet. Some people sent me messages. Many people stayed quiet and just thumbed the video down. But you know what? And I'm sitting here thinking, if you are a person, if you're a person that have kids at home, if you're a person that you, that you deal with children all day long, then there's no way that you can support Donald Trump. I'm just sorry, you just can't. The dude already came out. Look, man, fact. <laughs> Donald Trump, and there's more than one person that will corroborate this story. Donald Trump then went inside a, a darn team Miss America pageant back in 97. A lot of people corroborate this story, man. And people say that Donald Trump was notorious for doing this, walking inside the teen girls' locker room and talking about, I done seen it all before, ladies. I mean, who does that? That's a fact. That's a straight up fact. It happened. This man gets on national TV and he talks about his daughter in an inappropriate manner. That no father should be describing his daughter to the public. My daughter's hot. If my daughter wasn't my daughter, I'd be dating her. These are things that Donald Trump said. And these, you know, he said that on live national TV. But you still have this segment of fools that they co-signed us because see you know people you know i even had a couple of people say well coach why why are you why are you putting trump life on blast like this why well you know you saying people you you'll put anybody else i mean the people that's getting killed by the police y'all seem to want to put their life on blast but the people who getting killed by the police they're getting killed for for dumb stuff but donald trump no he's a pedophile and people, you can like it or don't like it. The man has a fetish for very young underage girls. You just do. And I tell you this right now. Those photographs told the story. The photographs of Donald Trump told the story. But see, this video isn't about Donald Trump. It's about the people <laughs> that actually had something to say about me telling it on Donald Trump. Two of y'all asked me, you know, well, why don't you talk about Hillary? You know what? Why is it that people think that if a person don't like Trump, you automatically think that they're voting for Hillary? Like, what makes you think that I'm actually voting for Hillary? See, I don't understand folks. I don't understand when folks have that logic. Because I criticize Trump, it doesn't mean that I'm automatically voting for Hillary. And I said that in my video several times. I said that both of these two people, I, I don't know how we're going to get through because if one of these two are picked, we in trouble. But I actually think Hillary, now that this information has come out about Donald Trump, I think that Hillary is the lesser of two evils. I think she is. By default. Because when you go and you begin to molest children, you walk in on naked teenagers doing these Miss American pageants. Okay, if you do that. And if you people who are coming at me, if you don't address this, then that means that you completely, completely co-sign what Donald Trump is doing. Or either you truly just don't believe it, even though the man on national TV, even though, even though the man on national TV came out and said that if he wasn't Ivanka's father, he would be dating. Because see, if you, if you come out and say, well, it's not true, then you stupid. You real stupid. And see, there's no even need to even comment because I'm just going to delete you or block you. Yeah, people, that's just how it is. I'm going to delete you, ignore you, or block you. I mean, it, it's one of them three modalities. Because you can't even have a brain in your head. You cannot have a brain in your head. And listen to what Donald Trump said. I didn't say it. You guys are attacking me as if I said these things about Donald Trump. Donald Trump said them. Donald Trump was the one who said that he would date his own daughter if it wasn't his daughter. Donald Trump said this. I didn't say that. I'm just repeating what he said. Could you imagine this man being president? I mean, honestly, because right now he can't win. 
He done pissed off a lot of subgroups. Let's do a rundown of all the groups he done pissed off. And then you really start thinking, how is it possible for him to win the White House? It's not going to happen. <laughs> He's out of here. First of all, he done pissed off the LGBT community. Pissed them off completely. I don't agree with the LGBT community. I, don't, I disagree with everything that they do. But he pissed them off. <laughs> he pissed off the blacks. He pissed off the Hispanics. He pissed off white women. He pissed off, I mean, you name the subgroup, this dude has pissed them off. Pissed off black women. All women. I mean, <laughs> he done pissed everybody off. And he pretty much, man, done, I mean, alienated himself. He, he's, he's alienated himself from everybody. Well, he's alienated everybody from anything that he's trying to do. It's not going to happen. It's a wash for Donald Trump. The only thing Donald Trump got left yeah, pretty much is just to do do this last debate, go out on his shield because he's going out. He's not going to be elected president. I don't care what you people say. And these new allegations that come out about these kids and he molesting kids and, you know, all these photographs with him and his daughter with these provocative photos. Trust me, he ain't winning. He's out of here. You might as well forget it. I may not talk much about politics. I may not watch it that much, but I can see the handwriting on the wall. I actually can and when you piss off a lot of subgroups like that, that's a wrap. You, you can't win. The only subgroup and the people that really like Donald Trump the most are the white males. Go figure. Why is that? And I looked at, you can go online and look at all this yourself. Okay? I'm just reporting it. I'm just reporting it. So what kind of a person stands up for a person? And I'm just thinking, you know, this man already told you he would date his own daughter. He, he told you that. This man already is friends with a convicted pedophile. Oh, he, he, he buddy buddy with him. But there are still people yet who will come to this video and they will defend Trump to the fullest. This is not a video in defense of Hillary. See, some people on YouTube, and they just can't read between lines. They're just stupid. It's not a defense of Hillary. It's pretty much like, <laughs> Hillary can't touch this. I'm sorry. Yeah, Hillary lied about the whole Benghazi thing. Oh, Hillary did some dirt. Hillary got some dirt. <laughs> but Trump is a little bit dirtier. And folks, that's how it is. And if you co-sign it, you thumb the video down, you pretty much, if you thumb, you've already co-signed that you agree with Donald Trump when you thumb the video down and you come in and you just point blank just, hey, but coach, why are you always criticizing Donald? Oh, you co-sign what he doing. And, and I got you. Now I know who to avoid and who to block. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.